Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and Casual Cyberverse is already taking on a trend, as in our third installment, we're looking at another two-headed dragon, although this one is bipedal and has only one tail. This is Hunger. He's the leader of the... Um, well, I'm not sure if they've actually been established in any kind of fiction as terror cons, but you might remember some guys called the terror cons who look a lot like these dudes, and I, I think this is their leader. He's got some pretty G1-ass G1 colors, maybe a bit redder. I don't actually have a G1 hunger, but the homage is pretty damn heavy, and this is one of the most slavish hunger toys we're probably going to see in a long time until like some third party steps in and gets their game on. This dude has little tiny T-Rex arms and whatnot. Uh, he's got a pretty nice solid heel here, and he's got two heads. Uh, easy example to show him next to would be... I'm going to call him, just don't tell anyone I said this, Sinner Twin. Um, this, this dude here, Twin Strike, looks a little bit bigger than Hunger uh, from some angles, but I feel like Hunger just has more beef and girth to him than uh, the, the Sinner of Twin over here. Uh, also, I think Hunger is way the hell more fun in Dragon Mode. He's got the same cool deal of having, like, individually ball-jointed dragon necks, but the heads can also look up and down, which means that you get this, I think, legitimately cool little, little bit of posing optionry where you can have, like, one head sticking a bit forward, the other one sticking back or raising up, and they're both still pointed and, and facing in the same direction. This, to me, is more play out of a Legion class toy than I might expect. His arms can jointly wiggle up and down as well. And he's got ball-jointed hips and a thigh swivel thanks to the transformation, and also thanks to the transformation, he's got a pretty workable ankle joint, so you can work out some, I think, just decent and pretty heavy posing options. This guy's, you know, as far as alt modes go, this guy is like the cyberverse cliff jumper of alt modes. Um, certainly not in robot mode, and, and cliff jumper still is, I think, the pinnacle legion toy we're going to see for a long time. But I'm kind of impressed by this. Uh, this guy also comes with a dragon tooth saw, and I, I gotta say something here. Um, you know, a little smoke screen here. He came with a, uh, a chain bolter. This is a dragon tooth. So they're the same, and this one is just cast in a much more interesting plastic. This is something you, you should get prepared for if you aren't already, because uh, there are only a couple weapons in the Beast Hunter Cyberverse land. On the bright side, they are pretty cool, and if you want to make this like a literal dragon tooth saw, you can actually just stick this into the mouth of, of the dragon mode, and now he's waving a saw blade around, and he's all like, You took my gun! Man, what a wimp. Um, the weapon has more than one mounting point, of course. Both mouths can, uh, take the weapon, as can, uh, both of the legs. Um, and I, I kind of like the look of this crazy dragon walking around with a saw blade sticking off of his leg. It's, it's kind of fun. So, I don't know if I made this clear, but I love this dragon mode. It's playable, it's fun, it's pocket-sized, and you can even have it, like, look a little bit more like it's running forward, and, and, uh, a little bit more, like, lowerly haunched, although he... Doesn't balance super well. I love this mode, but this guy transforms, and his transformation is clean and delicious. The arms fold up tight against the back of the robot mode. These dragon heads become feet, and those are the best kind of feet a person can hope for. Dragon heads. Uh, all of that posability in the legs allows you to do this. Um, and then these things fold up. On mine, these had to be kind of like clicked in and out a bit. Folding them up would uh, actually pop them straight off of the friction joint like, you know, thusly. Um, I just had to kind of push them in and click them in as and hold them in as I moved them up here. Eventually, they kind of just worked themselves into working uh, to be redundant. And finally, you fold down this... Uh, you can leave this if you want to have just, like... I mean, this looks crazy, but I kind of like it. It's almost like there's two little eyeballs there. This dude's just, like, some kind of crazy Ku Klux robot. But you can fold this down and ba bum you've got a robot head. Hunger, leader of the... Hunger, leader of the Prime, Terrorcon Predacons. Uh, this dude, I, he's, he's kind of, he's kind of curvy, he's kind of bulgy. His legs are, are, are spiny as all hell. He, he has a good look, I think. It's maybe not, uh, as, as clean or as, uh, predatory as Twin Strikes robot mode, but I, I still like this robot mode. Uh, and I didn't mention this about Twin Strike, but all of all of these Terracons, Hunger and and Twin Strike, and perhaps others, I don't know. Uh, they've got strong head sculpts for such tiny dudes, and I'm really happy that there's 
at least one bit of paintwork picking out something on that head sculpt and giving it a bit of a bit of punch and panache. As far as posability goes, this guy is very cyberverse. He's got ball jointed shoulders and he's got ball jointed hips. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel that only goes in kind of the wrong direction, and his feet can tilt like that, which is not super helpful outside of having like one foot forward a little bit. And there's no heel support, so he falls down pretty easily. That's probably his biggest problem. Is he's he's got he's got a bit of a backpack. He's got no heels. He's got a very particular curvature to his body, so he likes to fall down. But you know what? Screw it. He he doesn't. He just give him his gun. There, he's counterweighted. I fixed it. So uh, I I like this guy a lot, and he looks great with other Cyberverse toys. Uh, the play pattern of the shared miniaturized scale. It's a success on these guys especially. Uh, this is like the third run of Cyberverse, and I'm really happy with how this easily forgettable thing has grown into its own little beast, as it were. There's a bit more engineering on this guy. There are hinges, there's other bits of sculpt, but it's not actually relevant to what he's like on his own, so I'm just going to not bring it up. I will mention, though, that... Uh, I don't know if you can see this, he's got a little bit of flakiness here inside of his ball joints. That's because I put hell of future floor polish onto all four ball joints. And that's because of something that I'm going to be talking about maybe if three or four or five Cyberverse videos from now. But, all that aside, Hunger is a wonderful little Cyberverse toy. He's, of course, he's a bit limited in what he can do, but he's also like five or six bucks, maybe seven bucks. I always forget the price point off the top of my head. Um, I recommend him. I mean, if you're going to go for him, you're probably going for all five of the Terror Cons, but, uh, Hunger and Twin Strike were the only two that I had for quite a while, and Hunger came out on top between that pair, so I gotta give him his props. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist and Casual Cyberverse. I don't know, should we get abominative yet, or would you like to see a lady? Let me know in the comments, because... I mean, I'm going to do both anyway, but let me know in the comments. Yeah.